In this session, I will show you how to deselect options from a dropdown. There are four methods that allows us to deselect options from a dropdown. Those methods are deselect by visible text, deselect by value, deselect by index, and deselect all. First, we are going to select options from a dropdown, then deselect those same options from the dropdown. Our AUT is called Selenium Tutorial. The examples in this page are using Java, but we will use Python. Copy the URL, then inspect this element for sample drop-down list. We see name has a value of cars and it shows multiple. Multiple means we can select more than one option from the drop-down. In PyCharm, I have statements written already for web driver by Chrome driver, so our Chrome browser is maximized. Now let's load the AUT by writing driver.get, then pasting the URL. The next step is to find the element by writing driver.findElement by name then write the value which was cars for name wrap this statement inside of select then assign it to a variable called drop down or any name you choose to write notice that select has a red line the red line means we have to import the class by writing from selenium dot web driver dot support dot ui then write import select now the red line is gone our first deselect method will be deselect all write drop down to access all of the methods and we start with deselect all. Bingo. Now let's select all of the four values before deselecting all of the values. We write drop down dot select by value. Drop down dot deselect select by how about we write index. And the last one, we write drop down dot select by visible text. And since there are four values, let's copy and paste drop down by visible text. Let's go to the AUT to see about the values. Go back and the values we see are M, H, B, and the T with Maruti, Honda, BMW, and Toyota as the visible text. Indexes always start at zero so we have zero for Maruti, Honda one, BMW for index two, Toyota for index three. Okay cool so now let's go back to the IDE and we're going to write a time.sleep statement after deselecting all. The purpose of time.sleep is to allow us to see all the values getting selected and all the values getting deselected. I'm gonna write it before this deselect all and after deselect all. Now, for the selecting of values, let's write select by value for M for Maruti. Select by index, how about we write one for Honda. Select by visible text, BMW, and we're gonna do Toyota. Okay, so now let's run. We see all the values selected, and that's waiting for three seconds, and then it deselected all of the values. Bingo. Okay, so 
that work. In addition to deselecting all of the values, we can select individual options and deselect individual options. This is where we use the other three methods. Deselect by value, deselect by visible text, and deselect by index. So one more time, I will select all of the values, including time.sleep. Then paste those values. Okay, so to deselect Toyota, let's write drop down dot deselect by value, then T for Toyota. Got to spell it right. For Maruti, let's select by let's deselect by index. It's the first car, so we write deselect deselect by index and pass in zero for. Maruti, which is the first car. Next, let's drop down, deselect by visible text, and that value is Honda. Let's only deselect three options. Then write time dot sleep for three seconds. When I run, we should see all of the values getting selected then deselect it for the first test strip for deselect all. Select all of them. Now deselect all of them. This last test strip selects all of them, but only deselect three of the options with BMW as the only option not deselected. That was expected. That's it for deselecting options from a dropdown. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next session.